Hello, I'm Mark, and today we'll be customizing Playmates Godzilla. So the first step I'm going to do is uh, knock back the gray that it has by adding some, uh, some black. I'm going to use it more as a, a black gloss instead of a coat. As you see, it's pretty watered down, and that's to help it get better into the small crevices of the figure and the detail. I don't really care about making a mess here because I have uh, the desk dedicated for, uh, for painting and sculpting. Plus it's a little more fun. But the, the main takeaway here is that you have to drink caffeine before you do this so that way you can paint faster before the paint dries. As you see here I'm doing my very fast technique of shaking. Real life, it's not sped up, trust me. This part really takes no skill though. All you have to do is just coat the whole, whole figure in some black paint. And uh, what I plan to do is wipe away some of uh, some the paint to bring back some color, especially on the fence. As you see, I have to move apart the legs and arms so I can reach in there. You could also take apart the figure, but that might be a little more, more effort than it's worth. So what I do next is I drum away the eyes to make it a little more refined. For some weird reason, uh, Playmates actually sculpted a pair of eyes on top of the original eyes, and that's why uh, they always looked a little off. But with the Dremel, it's an easy fix. And what I do next is I just add some black back onto it to blend it back in. Now I just add some color. As you see, I'm being very uh, sloppy and not really focused on making keeping it inside the mouth because I could just wipe it away. And now I'm just uh, dry brushing some white onto uh, the fins. The main idea is to uh, only hit the highest points of the figure of the detail. In the movie, I think he has more of a, a blue effect on him. Like, uh, instead of a gray, it's more of a blue-gray. I didn't decide to go with that because it's barely noticeable. And you see I took another sip of some caffeine and now I could keep up my normal speed. I was tempted to do the, the bootleg kind of paint scheme of Godzilla where he has like a big giant white highlight on his chest and his legs and that's about it. Which I kind of do, but I decided to keep it more, uh, more movie accurate. I mean, my main goal here was to uh, just have fun and spend an hour and afternoon on, a, on painting this guy. In total, I think I used about four paints. But so it's, it, I think anyone could do this really, all you do is just add some black, uh, dry brush it. As you see, I'm going pretty heavy handed, so if, even if you do that, you can just knock it back a little by brushing it more and also blend itself together. Uh, now I'm just adding some white to the eyes as a primer, that way when I add the orange it'll actually show up better. I really wished I could have found a smaller brush because that was the smallest one I could find and I was having some, some trouble. If I had been lazy I could have just uh, 
add it a blob of white and like work to refine it more with some black paint to uh, bring it back where it should be. Which I do do afterwards once I uh, get a little sloppy in some areas. But you can only add as, as much effort as you feel it's worth. And because I'm gonna have this like sit on my wall across the room, I'm not I'm not focusing too much on every single detail. I just want it to look right, you know, good enough. Now I add some horns to the, the toenails, and this is in hopes of getting it like a, a used feeling, like it adds some dirt and grime to this creature. And I'll just use the lost cloth to, to wipe off the excess. I was uh, tempted to do a gradient of uh, like a red to an orange to a, a yellow, like a candy corn color scheme, which looked which works pretty well for model kits, but here I decided not to. Same goes with with uh, boss. And now for the finishing effect is to add the pupils. So here I'm still using that giant janky paintbrush, but you could, uh, if I, even if I messed up, I could just add another base layer of white and orange and just restart over, so I'm not too worried. And just like that, he's done. Yeah, imagine if it came like that, brand new. Oops. 